What happened to AOC? And, and do you see that same kind of heat on the street when you go out and about about the Ukraine war? I don't know what happened to her uh, or what she believes in, but I hope everyone was paying attention to what those two young men were saying and paying attention to the pain and the anguish and the fear and the concern that they were expressing to their representative in Congress. The fact that she was so dismissive of them points to the bigger problem in Washington. One of the main reasons why I left this Democratic Party of today is because they have become the party of war hawks. We are literally sitting on the precipice of nuclear disaster. You hear these young men saying nothing else matters if we are all destroyed in a nuclear war that President Biden and the Democratic leaders in Congress have led us into and they are completely failing in their responsibility, the president's foremost responsibility to keep us safe, to keep us free. Are there any Democrats that come to mind right now that are asking tough questions about the war in Ukraine? Not a single I, I think one. mostly those questions come from the right. Well, what happened Not on the left? Not a single one. And Jesse, if you'll remember that $40 billion funding package that went to Ukraine, the very big one in the beginning, there have obviously been many since, but in that one, there was not a single Democrat in the House or the Senate that voted against it. Not a single one. I believe there was a total of 66 Republicans in the House and the Senate. No Democrats. They have been absolutely silent. So these people are right. Where are the, the so-called progressives? Where are the, you know, the peace champions, the AOCs, the Bernies, all the people who claim to be representing this movement? They are absolutely silent, and they are the ones leading us into a nuclear war. The protesters, you don't really see a lot of protesters on the street about the Ukraine situation. Why do you think that is? I think it's because there are a lot of people in the mainstream media who are using the same parroted pro-war talking points that the Democratic Party is using and not doing their job in raising important questions about how our taxpayer dollars are being used and what are the costs and consequences to the American people for these war hawks who are leading us into World War III. You spoke recently about something, uh, maybe it had something to do with your move away from the Democratic Party. I want to play some of that for the audience and you can explain. What happens in our society when we have people in the highest positions of power who deny the existence of objective truth? What happens is then there is no such thing as truth. There is no such thing as reality. Truth becomes whatever the people in power at any given moment want it to be. Tell us a little bit about that. You know, we, we have so many of these concerns. This issue I was talking about was, was Title IX and the fact that the, the so-called woke leaders of the Democratic Party deny the truth of a biological difference between men and women, which is obviously a huge issue in and of itself. But the underlying one is even more concerning, which is when we have people in power who deny that there is such a thing as truth, then there are no boundaries to how far they will go. The truth becomes whatever they want it to be on any given day. And they have, as you talked about earlier, they have the power of the law and law enforcement entities that they are weaponizing and politicizing against those who refuse to comply with whatever their edict is of the day. And that is a dangerous thing for it's any a, democracy. It's a dangerous road when you look back at history where that's exactly. been done. And we did notice a little different hairstyle there. Very, <laughs> very presidential looking. I'm not sure I read into anything. I was just trying to dress up. It was a fancy event. You know? <laughs> All, right. All right. There it is. Look at that. Look at that hair. Look I'm at the glad look. you noticed. I do notice. I notice everything. You'd be very proud. Thank you very much, Tulsi Gabbard. Thanks. It's great to see you.